Hello everyone and welcome to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today we're going to look again at the topic of motivation. Motivation and approach to learning. So, first of all about motivation. When we look at other people studying and when we look at successful English speakers, we tend to think that Perhaps they are very motivated and that they have a skill that we don't have. We know there are people who go to the library every day and they can sit there for maybe one hour or two hours trying to learn English. And we think, well, you know, I'm married, I have kids, I can't really do that. I have other things to do, I have my job, I'm not a student. It's good that they can and I can't. and it's, it adds to a kind of a stress that tells you that the way you're learning doesn't work. That kind of thinking gets you nowhere. Because that man who's sitting in the library for two hours, it doesn't mean to say he's learning. It just means he's sitting in the library for two hours. That's the only thing you can say. You don't know what's happening in that man's head, whether he's actually picking up rules, whether he's making notes for grammar, you don't know. So the first thing I have to say is that our perception of who's motivated and who isn't is a little bit twisted, especially when we live in a world where news is thrown to us daily about some people have a lot of money and some people don't. Some people are successful and some people aren't. This kind of thinking is not very helpful when you come to English learning. The approach to learning English needs to be carefully examined. Some people say they're motivated by money. Some people say that the only reason they're learning English is because maybe they they have to for work. And then there's other people who are doing exams. When you buy an English book or when you book an English lesson, what that does is it opens your mind a little bit to the idea of learning. Somewhere in buying that book and booking that lesson, you realize that you're getting something back in exchange. You're getting some some kind of encouragement, motivation and affirmation because you've actually done it. It's a little bit like You know when you book a doctor's appointment because you're sick? As soon as you book that appointment, you begin to feel better because you know you've done something. When you book a holiday online and you pay for it, you immediately feel happy because you know you're going on holiday. And it's like that with English too. You buy the book or you book the lesson and you think, ah, you know, I've done this. Yeah, I'm on my journey. It's those moments that you really need to capture when you're learning English because a lot of people completely miss that and think that okay I'm paying 10 pounds for this book so I can expect to receive 10 pounds worth of English but English isn't like that it's not something that you can buy and sell when students come to me for English lessons yeah of course they pay money but I don't, in return, give them, oh, yeah, you pay £10, so I'll give you a few verbs, you know, give you a few more words because you paid a bit extra. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. When you buy the book or take the lesson, you're opening a space in your mind to learn. And that's all you need to know. So it's not necessarily about what you get in return from that book or from that lesson, but you're basically giving yourself permission to learn. And you might think, well, that's a bit crazy, isn't it? Well, no, because in the English lesson, of course, you're practicing, you're getting information, and from the book, I'm sure you get information as well. But the secret really is to keep yourself motivated by having certain tools around you which remind you that you're learning. Yeah, it's true that maybe some days aren't so good as other days, 
But the most successful people are definitely the ones that reach out, that are able to find people to talk to and who have some kind of a joy level. One way to get your joy level up and to feel that you're doing something is to use the tools that you have around you. And one very powerful tool is your choice. Okay, You can choose to buy, buy that book, you can choose to book that English lesson, and immediately you'll feel, yeah, I'm on my way, I've done something. If you do nothing, then of course you have a problem because there's nothing there motivating you. So imagine that you're feeling sick one day and you say, ah, oh, I'm feeling sick, but I don't want to go to the doctor. But if you make that doctor's appointment, even if you don't go, you start to feel better because you know you've done something, you've opened your mind to receiving an answer. And it's the very same with English. So if you buy the book or book the English lesson or write out maybe a schedule for yourself that gives you one hour every day, what that does is it tells your mind that you're ready, that you're going to do it. What happens in that hour or what happens from that book, etc., aren't really so important, but you've done something. You've done something and it immediately raises your joy level it's a bit mysterious how all of this stuff works you know but whatever you have to do to get your joy level up you must do that and unfortunately doing nothing doesn't make your joy level go up it could be anything so i would encourage you today to go online find a language exchange partner and even if you never talk to him the fact that you said hello to him and would you like to be my language partner is enough to get you motivated even if you book an english lesson and it doesn't happen it's still enough to get your joy level up because it shows that you're doing something if you go online and buy a second-hand book for two pounds and you don't even know if that book's going to help you if you rush out and buy the Harry Potter novel it's enough to get your joy level up and that is what you're looking for you're looking for the passion for learning I'm just remembering a speech by Martin Luther King you know he he was the 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 man who fought very hard for equal rights for black people he said in his speech, I have a dream. But I wonder where that came from. I mean, do you think that he just woke up one morning and said, oh, you know, I'll uh, yeah, make a little recording and say I, I have a dream. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course he didn't. Even if he knew that that's what he had to do, he didn't just wake up one morning and say, oh, yeah, you know, I think I'll do it. He had to get his passion going. You know, probably he'd heard the story about what was happening with black people. His, his mind and his body were filled with passion because he wanted to change the situation. And that is where you must get to. And you get to that point by buying the book, finding a language partner, booking a lesson, pushing forward, it doesn't mean that you have to do all these things. It doesn't even mean that you have to attend the lesson. It doesn't mean that you have to read the book, but you're doing something to ignite your passion. And that is the way forward for learning for all of us. The problem at the moment is we are kind of a little bit apathetic is the word probably think yeah, well i don't care you know if english comes yeah good if it doesn't well i'll just have to not get that promotion at work or i'll just have to do something else because i can't learn no you have to find your passion and you really have to make it happen because nobody else will and if you can't do that then you really need to look at your joy level and maybe other areas of your life to see why it's not possible. Well, uh, 
just in talking about language learning, I feel very empowered now to go and learn more Farsi or more Persian, which is my language that I'm learning. But I know exactly what it's like. You wake up in the morning, you know, you take a little drink of coffee or tea or whatever you drink, and then you think, oh, you know what? I really, really don't want to do this with English. Um, and it's because you don't have any motivation there. You don't have any motivation. Um, but uh, you really need to work with that to try to get your motivational level up. So I would encourage you today, go on Amazon, buy the book, go and find a language partner, do something. Because the moment you do it, you'll notice that your joy level sparks a little bit. Yeah. So that that's my advice for today. Okay, see you all soon. Bye-bye.